And we're back uh, chatting with uh, Tom Caldwell. He is the chairman of Caldwell Securities. Tom, I just want to go through a couple of statistics with you, just get your reaction. These are Canadian ones. Uh, Canadian economic activity contracted in July for the first time in seven months. Uh, uh, that, that's according to I, Ivy PMI, I think it's called. Uh, so is that, is that again, a, a sign of things uh, ratcheting down with the interest rate hikes? I think it's a sign of things ratcheting down, period, partly with interest rates, but partly with the fact we really have been, it's almost like a, we haven't thought of the economy. It's been a testament uh, to the strength of the Canadian economy that we've held in so long with policies that in many measures, in many ways, have been hostile. Mm -hmm. uh, but no matter what happens, is climate change. But you look at the energy area has been a great major money maker for Canada, keeping our currency uh, in, you know, up in value and creating a lot of peripheral jobs. And you hammer that area and you end up percolating that through the economy. So there's a lot of, uh, some of it's sociological too. There's a lot of pessimism out there. Uh, somebody was saying that a lot of the younger people, Generation Z, are, uh, there's almost a neurosis where they, they just, they don't want to try anything because they think we're all going to be fried in 30 years. It's over. We're not yeah. considering children. There's a lot of overlap, secondary, unintended consequences to the policies, rhetoric, and teachings that have been going on for some time. So a lot of this is, is attitude, a lack of confidence. Yeah. A lack of pride in our history, confidence in the future, confidence in themselves. So it, you become hedonistic. Well, I might as well just enjoy myself. Right, and, right. Uh, you know, so I think there's a whole bunch of stuff coming in to make that make that happen. I saw it, by the way, there was a statistic done by one of the Ivy League universities on Generation Z that said maybe they're just lazy. <laughs> you know? So I'd expect more than that from academia, but I thought that was kind of an yeah, interesting Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, there is that lack of optimism, right? You're, that's what yes, you're picking absolutely. up on uh, from uh, particularly... Uh, as you say, younger generations, uh, frustration yeah. uh, that I'll never be able to afford a house. I'll never be able to live in the city or whatever their aspiration is. So that 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 could be infecting the general economy at this point, right? Very much so. I think people are buying into that that theology, if you will, that the world is ending and we've ruined it and on and on and on. Uh, you know, capitalism, free enterprise is based on optimism. Mm. I, always, I always keep joking that I've noticed the optimists are richer than the pessimists. So I've decided to be an optimist kind of thing. But there is there's a lot of that going on. Interest rates are definitely part of it. But there's this underlying thing, which I can't quantify, but it, I think all of us kind of feel it. Indeed. So uh, I, one more stat for you, uh, a statistic. Uh, uh, I guess this came from a, a rival new, news agency, but they cited economists saying that, that the downturn has begun. Uh, citing the economy shedding 6,400 jobs in July. So that's, that's the, uh, the statistic they used to declare that to be the case. What, what was your reaction to the, the job losses? Well, you've got a lot of the major financial institutions cutting back big time. Mm. I mean, there, there's significant layoffs for all the big banks, and that's going to have a factor. The unemployment number was, has been boosted for some period of time because, frankly, it's been government hiring. Right, you know, right. Beefing up the civil service, which gives you a flawed number. That's not necessarily productive employment, if you will. It's more regulation, which is strangling the economy. It's it's more whatever it is, intrusion, etc. So I, I I think we can't expect more than that. We're 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 going to have some challenges in Canada going forward. We're not seen as a factor in many areas, but we have to have a greater confidence in Canada and who we are and what we can do. And in ourselves, and and I and I think a lot of that's been undercut by this self-flagellation around all the issues that, gosh, aren't we terrible people? Mm, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I I hear you on that. Um, food prices they seem to be uh, our inflation rate is declining, but the food prices are continuing to rise. Is, it, is that what you expected? Well, it's. I don't trust the inflation numbers anyway. I think, oh, okay. they're very, I think they're very political. Remember when they were 2%? They were yeah. never 2%. Mm -hmm. Never 2%. I, I bought a cigar the other day because it was recommended to me that this was a really good cigar to have. So I, I bought it. 
And I didn't realize the price of this cigar. It was $65 for a cigar. Now, I'm not going to have any empathy with that kind of inflation on cigars. Cigar. It's, it's literally going up in, up in smoke there, right? I thought right, it was $10. Huh? I had no idea. <laughs> Okay, but we're going to take one more break. Uh, hold that thought. We're going to take one I'm going more to have break. A cigar while you're away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, don't don't take the sixty-five dollar one. We'll be back oh, after these messages. Yeah. <laughs>